this playoff series. Huge game for both teams. Let's drop the puck. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Broadhurst got it in the offensive zone. Centering feed. Can't connect the play. Kabarovsk's got it behind the net. Here's a chance. Denies him in close. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Fires it on net. Stones it with the blocker. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Kabarovs got it in the offensive zone. Great poke check on the reach. Receives the pass. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, this is such an obvious call for the official and undisciplined. Once the arms extend, you're going to get the cross-checking call. Kabarovsk's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetitions. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. recognizes that when their leader scores, it's about the intangible, the hard work, the work ethic, the drive to compete. And that sends a message right down the entire lineup. Let's get going. kabarovsk has got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Oh, on the play! Whoa! Oh, a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Now, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Broadhurst won the face-off here in the offensive zone. And he rings the post! Broadhurst been all around the net. It's what he does. Scores! Fantastic shot that beats the goaltender clean and hits the post. Doesn't come out, redirects right back in. That's a fortuitous bounce for the shooter. Kabarov's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. Dees won the draw center. Missing kids cut it along the wall. Delayed penalty coming up here. Quick whistle stops the play. This can be a boarding call, no question about it. Opponents in a vulnerable spot. You see the numbers, you can't hit like that. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Moves into the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Pass back to the point. Takes the feed. That eyes him on the play. Here's a short pass to draws. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Grips it, rips it. What a stop! And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. 
Let's see what the officials say. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. Nissen Kemp's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Nissen Kemp's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. And that's broken up. Oh, another great save right there. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Pass right back. Puck exits the zone. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Clean sheet of ice, and here we go with period number two. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Have a the coaches will be loving that first period, James. I mean, it was a real impressive start. You can't script it any better than that. You dominated possession time. You executed, so it translated into offense. Now they got to find a way to keep it the same, push through the second, and try and put in a full 60 minutes. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Denies them! Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. D has been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here. Shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. They'll go back to work on their special teams. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Gish has won the faceoff. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Trying to shake loose. All alone! Kabarovsk's had that magic touch tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes when you get up in the game, James, it's easy to get complacent and just hold the puck, stop attacking, but not tonight. They're not. The entire bench, the lineup, such an offensive threat. Line one right through line four. They've been a wave tonight. Sends it in on the attack. Grabs the puck. Chance in front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Here's the chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. Rips it. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Moves it quickly over to Lee. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. Let's get the official decision. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot. They score! And the power play strikes once again. Well, you know that special the teams are so critical, James, and they have executed with the player advantage all night long. Let's have another look at this.
this, James. Yeah, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on a power play. And as a result, they score. Kavarovsk's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick and their opponent's been on their heels. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seen so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Missing Kent's won the draw. Slick feed. Here's a pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And he connects with the long bomb. That stretch pass was a beauty, James. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Here's a shot. and he loses control of it. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And the D comes up with it. And they'll skate it out of the zone. A chance of the rush here. Oh, tremendous save to shut down the rush there. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Nisnikov's behind in this game. One reason only, James. Look between the pipes. A hot goaltender and seeing absolutely everything and has dialed in. So you know what they're going to have to do? You have to find a way to get someone. One, two, double screen, stack. Anything to take away their eyes. Yakupov's got the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, and he denies it with a bit. Lots of time left in this period. Kabarovsk's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4 0. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes a shot. It's in. He scores. He gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. Kabarovsk's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. The Nationals get a hold of the puck off the draw. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. He might have a step here. Hammers it off the post. Nizen Kent's got the puck along the wall. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Comes up with a monster save in front. Here they come on the attack. Sends it to the middle. Handles a puck at the point. Scores! And maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build up that last shift. Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net.
Niz and Kemp's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Dumped into the cross side. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Cheryl? Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight, you know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. Loves the puck into the offensive third quarter. They score! a ton of time and space in that high slot area he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot pulls it into the feet disguises the angle and beats the goalie clean Niz and Kemp's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward you can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north and play resumes as the puck is dropped. Into the offensive zone. Here's a shot, and that goes wide! Niesnikamp's creating a ton of scoring chances in this game, but unable to capitalize, the reason why they're trailing. Works the puck across the line. to the net and this rebound comes right back out to him but he's tracking he's sniffing he's hounding and he finds the back of the net on the second shot the rivermen have to be pleased with their effort here they continue to attack offensively in the third this is a feel-good game james and you have to embrace these type of games they don't always happen when everyone's got it working for themselves they're communicating they've got good habits and they're filling the net what they just saw tonight. Kabarovsk's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and laid a big time late in this third period. Broadhurst won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. They've got the 3 0 series lead, and it's hard not to think that they're ready to go to Boone City next year, Sheriff. Yeah, sweep, sweep. And you know that everyone around them is going to be talking about it in terms of the fans, but I'll tell you, the staff will not be. Not even the players within the room. They'll just be staying present, focused on the task at hand, is to win the game. And if they do, guess what? It'll be a sweep. excited as we are to call the next postseason game down the road and we will see you then from all of us here at EA Sports thanks for joining us